Well, all right, back at you again here. A couple days later, maybe a couple weeks. I don't know, it's been a while. Outside, I don't know if you can hear that, but we got one of those uh, whirly bird uh, things going on. Uh, pff, torn to do or a torn to die or something. Uh, pff, or nothing, I don't know. But it's out there and it's going. Been warnings, getting texted through the phones and such, right? So if you do recall, that repair there is looking really good, right? Only one problem. Found out on the internet. On the intronets, the Jabi well doesn't really work that well on seal surfaces, especially high speed ones that are spinning around. So luckily for us, right, I get to show you guys how to put on a spadee sleeve. One of these guys. It's the old ring for the output shaft. <laughs> I don't know if that joke's gonna land really. So I'm gonna show you how to put that on, but first I gotta modify this because as you can see, that ain't gonna fit around that. We're gonna be wanting to have a... What am I doing? So I gotta go down, but this guy doesn't quite go. So we're gonna have to cut that bit and then we can jam this on, hopefully without too much trouble. And that looks so good. I wish we could just use that. I gotta cut this into a circle, so. All right, so. Adequately sized stairs to hoping for the best. You know what I'm gonna actually do first? My driller and a piloter down. There they are. Too weak to even pull these out of here. So I'm gonna do a piloter just to make sure we're in the center, guys. And to find the center, guys. Not even close. At least we know where it's not. Why would that work? He's wrecked the desk. It's not a desk, it's a bench. That's really hot. Uh, okay, let's try uh, jamming this guy under there. Ow. This is for wood. It's certainly for wood. So that's not gonna work, guys. All right, so that didn't work. We'll just go with the big guy and we'll file her down. It's not clean there. Thing's stinking. Oh yeah, that's not enough to go on there yet. It's gonna be a long way to file. So we've arrived at the moment of truth. This is what the end result was. So this was the only size spadee sleeve that they had that would fit that. And it's not really that close. Like, I mean, it's close, but it's not. We're gonna find out if it's close enough is essentially what I'm saying. I'm hoping that we're gonna know pretty quick if it's not gonna work, but you never know, guys. So when you're installing a spadee sleeve, what you're gonna wanna be doing is putting it this side down. And you'll notice that the spadee sleeve there is grooved on the one end. So if you wanna take that off after you install it, you can do that as well. It's a pair of side cutters. I'm not gonna be doing that. Give her hell. Is it gonna go, guys? Guys, it's gonna go. I mean, it's kinda going, right? We're not gonna have to Colonel Sanders her, are we? Guys, I don't know if that's moving at all. Wrecking this brand new shaft, eh? Might have done us right to put some Deb Yaddy Fruity on there. Probably too late now, right? We got the old oil slick here. So that's some Madeira oil there. Just trying to give her a little bit of lubricity. Gotta bend this out. It's starting to get annoying. No, why would that work? Reckoner. It's getting more mangled as we go, but at least it's not contacting the edge anymore. Coming down now, it's coming. Wow. Just the ugliest repair you ever did see. Let's continue and watch what we're doing. Oh guys, that's looking good. A little bit more down on that side there. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave that collar on there guys. So let's look at the results. Speedy sleeve. Never mind about that. Somebody came by, attacked it. I don't know, I didn't see it happen, but obviously it wasn't me. All right, sweaty guy back again. Okay, so guys from Nat, 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 from Nachi were kind enough to send us some replacement bearings. Cause uh, like I said, we did this before, only my repair then was not as good. So that guy is supposed to fit over the top of that guy there and he's not. So that means this guy's warped. Mangled. 
And so that means I gotta sand him. Filer down! And then this bigger guy, he's supposed to fit over the shaft there, but because of this extra sleeve I put on to fix the divots, he does not fit any longer. I'm gonna have to sand him down pretty thin. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with that. I'm just gonna spend the next couple hours just getting it right. Bit by bit till it fits on there just right. Okay, so it's quite a long time later, a couple hours maybe. As you can see, I've gotten quite sweaty, but we've had a success. Turns out I didn't need to hammer this tube on there, which is unfortunate because now we don't have a vacuum tube, right? What can you do? This is how the bearings are supposed to be sitting on there. So they fit nice and good. They're not gonna be sitting on there when we put the shaft in there, right? Where they're gonna be in the housing, but that's for tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll get back at you. <sighs> Like, favorite, subscribe. Good old Russian round off on that one. Just trying to give her a little bit of liberacity. In hindsight, it was stupid, alright? But at the time, it didn't seem that dumb.